Today is Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. The time is 1.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, friends, it's Dennis Navi II here. I'm getting ready to go through my uh, 2022 April World Events Predictions. My sessions were completed back in March of 2022. I tried to get it up earlier. It's just been a, a busy week for me, but we can track them. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to go through some of the feedback I received from March 2022, the sessions I did back in February. It gets confusing, right? Uh, sessions done in February, looking ahead to March, um, you know, to go through the stories and the feedback on my sessions. We're going to go through that kind of quickly. Um, last month, I was, I was pretty upset when I, um, when I was doing this segment, this part of the process here, talking to all of you about all the data I was getting back from Ukraine and the noise that was out there and how focused I became on it and the impact it had on me. So this month, um, my attempt was to refocus my efforts uh, in a way that was hoping to quiet that noise. I was doing my targeting th exclusively through unknowncountry.com, meaning moving into April, not for March. Um, but I also noticed that um, during March, I checked the news a lot less. And I'm wondering if that plays a, uh, a role you know, in the, the level of feedback I'm getting, the level of digging that I'm doing in the correlation with data. At the very beginning of the month, I was checking the website like every day on Drudge Report. And I, I think I had some strong data in the beginning of the month. And as we get towards the end, I find I'm kind of uh, grasping, not grasping at straws, but um, it's not as easy to find the data there. So I'm wondering if it's how I'm consuming my feedback that's impacting this. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we can we can decide as uh, as you look at the data. I um, want to throw a quick, um, or I say I want to quickly draw your attention to my website, sixcentsmedia.net. Um, here's you know a whole bunch of content here that you can find. I know it's a quick commercial, guys. Um, if you want, if you're interested in my book, Food for the Archons, here's your link to it right here. Some great remote viewing projects, the Roswell Tech. Uh, I'll have some the Tic Tac UAPs up on here, and we just completed with Hellfire the Council of Nine project. I'm in the process of uploading that, so look for that within the coming week. I'm going to start putting putting some of those sessions up. But I just did this podcast. I promoted this a lot. I've had. Uh, I'd say for the past two months, I've been trying to put this podcast together, communicating with the future and facing your fears. Um, and these are, if you've been, if you've been uh, appreciating my remote viewing sessions and my journey, this is kind of the stuff that I've been wrestling with, the questions that I have, the things that I'm learning from some of the more private projects I'm working on uh, in my own training and personal explorations. What are the implications? What are the consequences of uh, looking at the future? Can we change it? If so, what happens? What does that mean? So that's what this podcast is about. Uh, if you're interested, it's here at sixcentsmedia.net. You can also find it right here on the YouTube channel. So, all right, there's my commercial, my friends. Um, I want to thank all of you who have been giving me comments and feedback. It's always very helpful and it's encouraging and supportive. Um, you know, it's been uh, some challenging projects with the world events that I've been doing. Um, it's as, as a, I'll say a viewer in training, there's been a lot of growth, the hard kind of growth, I think that's been going on where you're just facing this hard stuff and then having all these questions that, that come up for me, as emotional as that can be, um, I value the insights I gain from these aspects of the journey. So thank you for continuing to be a part of that with me. Let's look at my feedback. Uh, I'm not going to labor on this too much, but this is my world events feedback here. Uh, the session was for March 2022. That was done in February 2022. So here we have it here, my world events feedback. All right. So right at the beginning... Um, of the month. Here's what was on the page here. It was, you know, obviously Putin's face. Oh, I'm jumping ahead now. Sorry. Um, but we're looking at Putin's face on the web page. And then here's the heading that was underneath it. Now you can see the date, the timestamp down here. This was on March 1st, 2022. And you remember, I'm, I was targeting the Drudge Report and specific dates. Sometimes I've gotten pretty good with those dates, but I'm also noticing it's just so noisy I find I'm just doing a world event session and just pulling data from all over the month. But I tried, really tried to stay with that. And I'll talk on that in a little bit moving forward. Um, but the headline here was, yes, he would. Is he unstable? Grip on power slipping. The, the headlines at this point in time, we're trying to determine, will Putin push the button on nuclear weapons? I think this is a lot of fear mongering stuff. Um, 
but again, this is the data that I'm getting back. So I'm just sharing this. I, you know, I, I'm not trying to spread the fear on this. I don't know that I th think that he's going to do this. I think we're looking at a lot of propaganda machines. And keep in mind, what we're targeting are the news stories, not necessarily the reality sometimes. And, and maybe I can get better as a viewer to see that. But we're looking at the content of the news stories. So they're looking at basically Putin's mental state. So here's my session. I had a male voice. He was calm. I had the word emaciated, dignified, carefree, charismatic, Cyrillic language, and an AOL of Putin. That's an easy one. But here you have him with a, with a uh, behind a podium with a microphone there. And when you clicked on that image on March 1st, it brought you right to this picture. And it was, yes, he would. Fiona Hill on Putin and nukes. And this is the story about will he do it? The rest of my data was talking about um, warning, a very subtle warning. I keep receiving a calm person who seems carefree. There's a subtle warning given, easy to miss. AOL rocket, that could be a nuclear missile. I had Elon Musk, just as my conscious mind's connecting stuff there. Um, so I think what this story was connecting with was uh, Putin's mental state here. And I was getting just somebody who was calm and carefree. I didn't get somebody who was insane and, and uh, you know, beyond that. But so take that for what it's worth. Um, and here again, the Russian people may be starting to think Putin is insane. I did a little bit more digging on this. Just, you know, they were really trying to, to sell that story here on Putin's crazy. He's going to hit the, uh, press the button here. Uh, so I didn't get, I didn't get much more detail on that story. That's the data that I had on that one. Uh, again, I think some of this is propaganda here. All right. The next one, this was neat. I was getting all of this advanced technology here, like robotics tech. Um, so I had Star Wars and robotics warfare. If you look at my data here, I have this right here on the left-hand side of my screen. I wrote AOL of Star Wars, hard, flexible, movable. Full. I was just describing this machine. Now, uh, and then on the right-hand side, I had this hollow glass like computer brain. So I was expecting some kind of story on robotics warfare. And lo and behold, here you go. Um, Vladimir Putin's war gadget robo balls that still look like Star Wars BB-8 ready to deploy. So there's the Star Wars connection. There's the technology that we're looking at, um, you know, for you to see. Now, I had some other drawings of tech. I didn't go digging too deep with my feedback that I really didn't just because right now it's kind of crazy. And again, I, I really wonder if that plays a role in um, my data as, as I'm working you know, with the crypto team and uh, seeing some of our processes now, I'm seeing some value in how we receive feedback and the way we receive it. So I, I intentionally disconnected myself from the news as much as I could throughout the month. I wonder if that's affecting the quality of my data. Uh, this next one now, I have this labeled Boris Johnson party gate. Now this is, an, this is a great learning opportunity for me because I'm pulling data out and really with a lens of everything in the media is going to be about the war in Ukraine this month. And it wasn't. But at the time that I did this session, I was expecting nothing but all out war. So I recorded this data and consciously and unconsciously, I'm just expecting this has got to be um, Ukraine and Russia related stuff. So I had a life surrounded uh, and then I had an AOL of a central authority figure Boris Johnson. And I had masses of people, life forms contained. I didn't like this. It wasn't good. Containment container. Um, I heard wind sounds, rocking, swaying. And I heard this as just barbaric. And on the right hand side, I had this structure here with a question mark inside, hard, flat, many faces, open, hollow, cold death, spears, knives. So the reality is, I don't think this had anything to do with Ukraine. Now, I also want to say, I'm not counting this as a hit because I didn't have the dates line up. I didn't pull this information from the Drudge Report but I am trying to justify my data. And I think had I not had so much Ukraine noise, I could have really focused in on what this story was. So this is not a hit for me, um, but I do think that this is what this data correlates to. There's something called party gate going on right now. Um, so basically what, what they're looking at is all of the parties and, and uh, you know, drinking opportunities uh, the prime minister Boris Johnson had in the UK during the COVID lockdowns of 2020. So when I'm seeing, you know, all these people in this, you know, crammed into a place, masses and masses of people, life forms contained, I'm looking at this as the lockdown. On the left-hand side, they're now kind of surrounding Boris, looking at him like, dude, you told us to lock down, we lost jobs, people died, and you were out there drinking wine in your house and in other places having all these different parties. Um, so that's kind of what this story is about, and I think that's what I was, what I was touching base with. So 
Um, those are the highlights of my sessions. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's some other data that correlates. Now, I did share some dreams that I had. Like I said, when I was coming into this session, when I was getting ready to do my, my world events predictions for March, I was pretty upset. And Ukraine had really just kicked off within the last week or two. Um, so I had some prophetic dreams. It was just about seeing fireworks and singing the Star Spangled Banner. I'm not convinced yet that those were just dreams. It's not remote viewing data, but um, I'm trying to record all of the intuitive slash psychic experiences we have as we grow as viewers. And I was definitely sensitive to a lot of stuff going on. So maybe it was just my mind trying to process everything. But um, I just had this U.S. based feel of fireworks or something in the sky and the national anthem being sung by people holding like candlelight vigils. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that. Hopefully it was just a dream me processing some stress. Sorry, my lighting is really bad here. Um, you know, apologies for that, but let's get into my session. And that's what everybody's waiting for in looking at my predictions for the month of April, 2022. So let's see what the world has in store for us, at least according to my remote viewing session here. All right. So here we go. Here's my tasking. Um, it's my, let me make my screen bigger here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So April 22 world events. Uh, and this time we're previous the last two months, I was targeting the Drudge Report because why it's fan it's fantastic. It's sensational. And I realized I too much for me, too much for me to handle. I wanted to go through unknown country just because I find them to be a much more um, leveled reporting of news and world events. And they're more in line with, I guess, my spiritual energy and my thinking. So I'm trying to better align with that type of information because I have to go back for feedback this month. And I'd rather be spending more time looking at unknown country. And they also don't post as much. Drudge is updating, you know, 20, 30 stories a day. Unknown country has, you know, a story and a podcast maybe every couple of days. So Anyway, I targeted April 2nd, April 15th, April 24th, and April 28th. And I was looking at the main most recent story posted on their main page. Uh, again, I don't know. I, I, I think if I have to adjust the way I'm tasking things in an ideal situation, these would be blind targets. I'd be working with a tasker and throughout the month, they would task me a random date in the month of April and a random website that's going to be giving the feedback for the news story. Um, but since I'm doing this on my own right now with this experiment, I'm front loading a little bit. Um, which is, I, I think is okay for this experiment. Um, but I think that accounts for some of the ambiguity in my data. I think if, if I could have this kind of setup where I would just do this full time, you know, and, and working, you know, different targets, multiple targets a day, and they snuck in a world events target a couple times a week, I think then we'd be, we'd be on to something a little bit more. But right now the set, setup I have those are the, the potential variables and flaws that I see with it. All right, so let's get into my session here. So I did this on March 26th uh, and getting into session one, that's, that's on April 2nd. We have here looking at, oh, uh, this was interesting. Um, a lot of low level data here. I got this lotus shape here and this keeps coming back. And again, I don't think this is necessarily a lotus flower as this session evolved. Um, we go down into it and I, here's where I, I felt that I was starting to connect with the target or the other possibility is I'm just a mess and I'm pulling in data from multiple news stories. That's kind of how I thought coming out of this session that I wasn't hitting the dates like I wanted to. We'll see at the end of the month, but I had this, this uh, circular or spherical object with these objects protruding from the right and left side of it labeled C uh, and then B was this pole that was coming up out of it. So I had material, materialistic, and I had a hi-hat, like a, a drumming hi-hat. And then here I had this North Pole looking thing coming up. I had an AOL of a nuclear core or a nuclear winner. I know that's a scary thing, right? But this was like a honeycomb shape. They were like uh, octagon shapes here, eight-sided, I think they were, or, or hexagon, whatever. But it, it was more of a sphere surrounding this pole and they had that octagon shape like almost like a soccer ball that's what i'm looking for yeah as the uh, as this pole was coming out of the center of it and i, I had uh, an ai of this scares me 
And I got looking at A here, which is this sphere. I had movement and energetics in multiple directions. Calm movements, movement over angled surface and structures. Blocky, jagged, square, almost like steps or stairs. Lower area towards center. And then here it is. It's the sphere, but I had different energetics just going in a whole bunch of different directions on this, this circular sphere. I don't know what that means. As if the object is rolling one way, but the energetics can circle it in an opposing direction. Yet energetics are connected or a part of this object. Really curious thing that I was looking at here. And then looking at B, which was this uh, pole structure coming out of the middle of it, I had here thin, tall, cut, as if this object is stationary and causes another object to divide or split like jagged bricks. Reminds me of a zipper. So here in the center, you have this pole coming up. And then as these, as you see my arrows here, the zipper or these brick-like objects move towards it, they open up. So I had this opening again with something in the center. All right, calm, jagged, rock-like structure, stabilizers, function process, and a of a lava flow when I was looking at this, which was weird. All right, AOLs, irradiate and radiation. Cold, strong, this energy makes me uncomfortable, sick, death, it was a weird feeling that I got. Just looking at this now again. Uh, icebreaker, downward movement. So I was looking at that pole and I felt that it was falling forward at one point. Does it fall or does it descend or collapse into itself? So I tried to describe the motion of it as if it falls forward, but it falls slow, almost controlled. Is this important? I didn't get an answer. Describe the most important aspect of this event. And I had these two half moon shapes and it's like, as they spun, they opened up as if it spins, opens and rocks. So not only were these objects spinning, but they were also kind of opening up. So they may look like a sphere at the beginning, but then they spin and open. And then I was looking at maybe a top view here. They spin and then that pole object comes up and I had an AOL of either, of either a rocket or a rod. So we're looking at a, a missile launch. There's going to be a story about a nuclear launcher. And again, this is unknown country. So I'm not looking at for some fear mongering story. I don't know what this is going to talk about, but some kind of thing. I mean, this could be for all I know, this could be a story about a telescope and how this telescope operates and a lens is extending. So I know we're looking at nuclear AOLs and stuff, but keep in mind, I'm going into this thinking we are talking about war in the news right now. So that could be front loaded. All right. Uh, now we're moving to the April 15th event. Uh, and let's look at here. I had objects, life, movement, life, bubbly, personality, converge, opening, importance. I had an AOL of a missile again. Uh, petrol smells, squeaky sounds, mechanical, clicky. All right, and now this is one, I'm not sure if I'm having multiple stories here or if I'm allowing my conscious mind to step in. But at the very beginning, I saw a black and white structure that reminded me of, of like a rocket in space. I had SpaceX rocket launch and I saw it like over me just going out in front of me. So I see a black and white tube-shaped object moving directly above me. Beeps like mission control sounds moving forward. There's a silence yet rumbling. Maybe, but then it, the rest of my data seems different here. I had this long cylindrical object in the distance. I see a horizontal object. It feels quiet. From this perspective, peaceful. Bra uh, because of my distance, though, I was very clear about that. It felt peaceful because I was so far away. I had an AOL of a Muamua, which is that, uh, you know, they say the extra galaxy, extra solar system object that was possibly ET related um, or a battleship. Now I'm starting to get on this battleship thing. And I had these four shapes here, movement and trajectory. I had an AOL of a fleet looking at A, which is this big one up here up at the top. I had alone, lonely, beveled, uh, and then lose or lost. Are these ships on the ocean lost at sea? And this was weird. I had shallow, gritty, hard, locked, stuck structure. And I had what looked like a, a, a channel or a canal, but this object horizontal across it. So I don't know what that means. And then I got this smooth, rotational, slippery, shiny, uh, and painted object at the bottom here. It was spinning. Special paint to hide from radar. Advanced technology. But something goes wrong. This object or structure is still or not moving as it should. Uh, I'm sorry, my handwriting is atrocious, especially in the state. Doubt and wonder. Is this what it is intended to do? No, but then that may be the perception. My, this is my opinion now. Don't let this incident or failure go to waste. How will they use this opportunity? When I wrote that, I remember thinking like, whatever it is, 
there's probably going to be a propaganda spin on this, maybe to justify some kind of action or position. Whatever really happened may not be the story that we get. And again, that's per totally my conscious mind. So here, moving to April 24th now, a structure, life event I got out of this ideogram, which was a mess of a whole bunch of things. Uh, flat, horizontal, hard, very hard surfaces, brown, black top or, con or contorted. I'm sorry. Uh, let's look. Or con concrete. I think that's what I said. Solid movement, looking at the life, male, ominous, omniscient particle, which is weird. And I wrote down interesting. Life is moving away from something, uh, but another is following. I had an AOL of a hit, pulling other life, female, younger, smaller, follow me. Person is hyper-focused, blinded to everything else. The structure equals happier. So I get, there was a structure and it's like, we'll be happier at this structure. Why? Describe the incident, uh, the most interesting aspect of this event, walking away and not looking, trying not to acknowledge something. Uh, my AOLs, O Royal or O Royal or Royale reminds, reminds me of Tony Stark. I think that was just a weird thing. I've been watching uh, Avengers with my son. Uh, but this person felt feminine. So ultimately, I, it said, I said this felt like a movie scene, an energy inter impacting the area. This person's moving away with the younger life, trying to ignore what is happening. I had an AI of scary, but I almost felt as if this could have just been a celebrity with their child, for some reason, the press is trying to get footage of them and they're just quickly trying not to acknowledge the press and dragging this other person away to perceive safety. However, I also got this energetics here. So something is happening here. That doesn't mean a lightning strike or a bomb or a missile. This could just be another event going on here and this person's trying to get away. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure. All right, moving to April 28th. I had a structure, energetics, life, movement, electric smell, static, uh, flowing, very forward movement, smooth, fast, and rapid, happening around life, witness, an AI of beautiful. There's something beautiful about this. It's graceful. Control, servitude, structure, hard, weighted, smooth, and then a sliding motion, scraping like a glacier in energetics. And I, I, that was very clear that that energetics was, was different than I've ever felt. Cool, fresh, natural smells, crunching sounds, grindings, hail of chain links. I don't know what that means. Move to the optimal position and sketch subscribe or, and describe. AOL of philanthropy. Then I had this object here, that cavern, steel, drum-like, shallow. And then I had like pulsing blips or electrical sounds, movement of energy coming off of that spear or spire. All right. And then the B part here, down at the, the middle one, saucer shape, round, smooth, energetics, AOL, drum or wave. Now this sketch here in the center, the bigger part was like an amplifier or cannon trajectory as if something comes out of this end and is now magnified or larger as opposed to at the beginning end, it's a little bit smaller. The bottom part, D, tiny, silent, like a listening device. I had radionics and graphene. Graphene, I know, got a lot of conspiracy uh, attention lately, but the radionics piece is using sound frequency for healing. I've never heard of that term before, at least consciously, I don't remember it, but when I looked it up, that's what it means. Um, so then I looked at this and I got like a sliding printout of data. And this almost reminded me of like countries or, or the globe flattened out and this just sliding scale of data with data at the bottom, looking at something on this map here or this data sheet. Um, so there was, I had recording measurements. Is it earth data? Again, radionics. Does it have to do with climate change? Is there something faulty? Describe what's most interesting. Again, that radionics term kept coming to me and I should have done a stage five and I underlined it to do stage five. And then I, I forgot, or I think at the end of the session, one of my kids walked in and I just, I had to be done. I couldn't pursue it. I had an AOL this looked like a radio, but then when I started probing it, I got different data. Cave, cavern, structure, tower, ominous warning, as if something old, and I wrote from the 50s, is rediscovered and getting attention. First, I got Habsburg, but then I, it came as Charles Habsgood. If you know Charles Habsgood and you follow Ben Davidson's work, he talked about the, uh, the crustal displacement theory, if you ever watched 2012. I'm not saying that's what the story is going to be about, but I thought that was an interesting connection here. Uh, and then looking again, hard, tiny, hollow wood, lots of life looking down. So that's B here uh, up at the top as if life is looking down into this structure, round tunnel, something comes out of here. So that's this 
opening part here, C, which I was like, hey, maybe it's a radio knob. Um, but something coming out of there. Is it energy? Is it a mining cart? Like a balance of pressure created from in and outflow of air and energy, as if this structure covers something underneath, an AOL of mining. And then, yep, that's it. My kids walked in and that's the, uh, the end of my session. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, the experiment continues here. Um, I'm doing my best with the targeting while also trying to maintain and protect my own mental health on this journey. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed for next month yet. I'm going to wait and see what I feel pulled to um, and how I feel I should uh, progress. Sorry, my, my color's off. I'm sitting in a different room today. Um, but, uh, you know, thoughts, suggestions, I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I, I really appreciate all the comments and feedback that I get as, uh, as I go through this experiment and this journey. It's been a lot of fun. I got some big projects that are, uh, that are in the works right now, getting ready to release. I've got a, a work of fiction called, uh, it's called the hive, the virus, the infected and the immune. You can look for that. I don't have a launch date yet, but in the next month or two, I think I'm going to release that. It's been done for over a year. I just got to get that out to all of you. And that book, that's a fun project. It's taking a lot of the things I've experienced um, and spoken to some of my friends about when we look at things like remote viewing data from some interesting targets and then play the what if game. Uh, so I, I took, I allowed my imagination to just run wild, basically looking at the nanotech scenario um, with mind control. So that's a, that's a fun project I'm getting ready to release. And then um, I have a Reiki project coming out. It's a Reiki journal, a series of, uh, writing prompts and guided meditations if you're on the Reiki path. And I hope to put out some Reiki training in the near future as well. So look for that. Sorry for all the commercials today, guys. But, uh, you know, stay, stay. Uh, I'll keep you updated here on the channel. Um, the newsletter will go out. I'll have some information on that. And of course, at sixcentsmedia.net, you can find it. But that's enough with the commercials, my friends. Um, I want to thank you for your continued support. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and your feedback. Uh, I try to get back to every one of you. If I missed somebody last month, uh, my deepest apologies. I do appreciate uh, everything that you all have to say. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Uh, Dennis Nappy, the second here with Six Sense Media. Reminding to never stop questioning, keep an open mind, and let your intuition be your guide. Thanks. Thanks.